Darabini Mike Motorcycle Adventure Tours. Uh, I'm not riding, I'm just out here driving the support truck. So I carry all the, all the important stuff. The beer, and the beer, and the beds, and the beer, and the food, and the beer. So, uh, yeah, I'm the most important man out here. So, of course, that's why Daz needs me out here. Make sure it's done properly. <laughs> anyway, boys are all lining up. They're all pretty excited to get going. And uh, I'll have a good day out. All right, I'll give you a quick walk around of the truck and trailer. This trailer here set up, triaxle, air suspension. You see these hoses on the wheels, that's the tyre inflation system so I can increase, decrease the tyre pressure as I'm driving. Pretty sweet uh, setup. And uh, hitched up there with a Gen Y hitch. And then the Iveco truck. Pretty decent looking rig. Nice Michelin tyres on it. Plenty of fuel capacity. We got uh, petrol at the back in the two tanks there. That keeps the bikes going for the full tour. And then two tanks in the in the belly there for the diesel to keep the truck going. It's uh, unfortunately running the ad blue as well, which is a little bit difficult to get out in the desert. Here's my office. It's uh, it's actually rather pokey up in there, but. Uh, it does the job. It's, um, it's a pretty sweet setup. The box itself is put together by none other than Unidan Engineering. Did a fantastic job of that. Both sides open up like this. At the back, this is our little garage area. You can squeeze two bikes in there. The rest of the bikes go in the trailer. And that's its sole purpose to carry bikes. So a little garage in there carries all the bits and pieces and tools. Big water tank in here goes all the way across the other side. Carries enough water for showers and drinking for a bunch of tours that we run it all consecutively. Four fridges up on top there. Um, set up as freezers. They carry all the food for the whole tours, the whole set of tours. Um, and we just gradually slide the meals out of those. Each each bag carries enough meals for one meal for the whole tour. And so all the, all the meals are slotted into the each freezer up in there. Another one here is probably the most important one. That's where we keep cold beer and uh, other refreshments to keep people hydrated. And um, the stairs, we work our way up. We've got all these trunks here that's carrying all sorts of cooking and uh, food and stuff. And up the top, we've got extra bits and pieces, all sorts of spares and bits and bobs. Nice little area here with, <coughs> excuse me, with the electrical stuff and USB ports. Everyone charges their stuff. Carry all the beds in here. Fold out little stretcher bed bunk things and uh, enough chairs for everyone in here as well. And then over here, all lined up here, this is everybody's bags and uh, extra supplies of this stuff, refreshments. Um, so, yeah, pretty good setup. Just thought I'd give you a quick, quick uh, run down on the truck and the trailer. And again, the truck has a central tyre inflation system hoses on the outside, all operated from a little controller in the cab. You can control the front and rear separately and the trailer separately, all off the one controller. Carrying two spares, the Michelin XLLs up there, 395 85R20s. Pretty good tyre. Uh, in the side here is the barbecue and... Um, Cups and plates and all that sort of stuff is in there. It's a nice little setup, but um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. It's all well lit up and floodlights out the sides, etc. It's a um, good setup. He's got going on. So if anyone's into motorcycle riding, 
I'll tell you what, these boys have a good time out here. You want to look this up and give it a shot. Don't be scared. Come and have a ride with Daryl Beatty. Anyway, I'll uh, keep bringing us along for the tour and, and, uh, and see what it's all about.